Hey guys, doing the next hired request on the list. Hey, from now on, doing hired request Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's Friday. Used to give y'all one a week. Uh, now we're going to do three a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Getting close to doing uh, another hired request list. So stay tuned to my Facebook and YouTube channel here. Today we're doing Multicolored Lady by Greg Allman. Uh, a nice piece, lots of neat uh, country piano fills and, and so forth. I'm going to play it for you on my pedal. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm giving you the guitar part here. Uh, and that's, you know, in my tutorials I try to, to, to include everything that will make it sound as much like the original as possible in doing it piano solo. Let's see if I can remember what I did here. guitar part there. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. Um, my wife did that little sketch right there <clears throat> of Greg Allman. So uh, she just did it real quick. She's pretty good like that, making sketches. So uh, pretty cool, huh? I may do some more of that if you guys like it. But I put the free part one on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this, as well as many, many other lessons that are not on YouTube, on my website, webpianoteacher.com, playing by ear, uh, with a whiteboard, popular songs. If you want to learn how to read notes, okay, just you want to, some exercises and some pieces that I put together my own method, learning how to read music well and fast, seancheek.com is the place to do that. I have 132 sight reading lessons right now, plus lots of other classical things and some ragtime and so forth. <clears throat> so anyway, let's get to this. We're gonna do, and I do the solo in there and everything. So this is a really good one to do. All right, um, and feel free to post this on your Facebook for me uh, if y'all don't mind doing that. Just to get the word out. I appreciate it. All right, so here's what we have. The guitar is doing this. It's doing that, and and I'm gonna show you how to put the bass guitar note in there to even fill it out a little more. Okay, so this is not the piano. This is the guitar intro. And it kind of fades in, so you can't hear everything. So I kind of, you know, I'm a paleontologist that way. When you can't hear things, I kind of come up with what they were doing. So this is how it, how it would start. So let's learn the actual guitar part first. It goes E below middle C in the left hand. And the right hand is going to go E, A. And then, don't worry about the parenthesis yet. Then the left hand is going to do A right here. And then the right hand does E, A again. Then the left hand is going to play that A one more time. Then the right hand is going to do one E. So we have this. And to make it sound right, you have to accent the left hand, but not let the right hand be too loud. Okay? If you don't do that, it's not going to sound right. Accent that left hand. Now, the second time, it says five times here. The second time you do it, you're going to do F sharp in parenthesis instead of the E. So that you're going to change that E to an F sharp, and this is what you have. See that? The first note was F sharp. So that's the second time through. Now the third time on this box, we'll do G natural. Okay, there's the G natural. So I'm accenting the left hand, but not the right hand. Okay, that's kind of the opposite of what we normally do. We accent the right hand. <clears throat> the top note. Now, the next time, let's see, one, two, three, the fourth time, we go back to F sharp. And the fifth time, uh, we go back to E. So I didn't, I didn't have room to put that in there, but just remember the fifth time, go back to E. Okay, so all five times go like this. something else. Okay, so that's the five times. E, then F sharp, then G, then F sharp, and then E for that fifth time. Then we're going to do this. And I do the piano part coming up. Okay, we do all that in the other lessons, so some of you may just want to start there with the piano. But I think it's just kind of neat to be able to do the guitar part. I'm sorry. What I did, I just put a D there, because we're going to 
do this pattern again, but we're just going to put a D there instead of. See how we've been changing the bass notes? Well, now it's going to be a D. So put a D there, but do the same pattern we did in that measure. That's all you do. That's a little squiggly line up there. That's what it means. Just do the same thing we've been doing. Now we're going to do C sharp for that first note. Oh, uh, sorry. There we go. Now, when we go to B, it's going to change. What's going to change is we're doing a B here for the pattern, but the right hand goes to D A instead of E A. See, it was E A forever over here. Now it's D A. But that's the only difference. The B is here instead of the bass note, or E there. So we're going to do B for the bass note, and we're going to do D for that note. So we have. the E with a D and replace this E with a B and you got it. But we're going to do it two times. See the two? So two times. One, two. Oh, wait, hold on. One. E. <clears throat> so instead, when you do <clears throat> that second time, instead of doing the E there, you're just going to play E in the left hand for the bass note. So it goes one, Do it again. One, second time. So the E comes in there. Alright, so let's do the whole guitar part now. Here we go. D, I mean, sorry, E. E. Oh, I messed it up, messed myself up. Let's do it again. Now, if you get that down and you want even more, play exactly what we did, but add an A in the bass. So that on, on this, so it sounds like this. Now when you get here though, what we'll do is we'll add an A in the tenor this time. So you'll have these bass notes will stay the same, but they will become the bass notes. And you'll just add an A here in the left hand like this. Uh, like this. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, I did. I forgot the E. Okay? So that will fill it out and make it sound really cool. That's the guitar part. And that's, that's why people hire me for these hired requests. When there's so many free, you free tutorials on YouTube because uh, I, I do accurate transcriptions. I've been doing that actually since I was five years old, really. Uh, almost 40, coming up on 40 this year. Uh, and, and the second thing, hopefully, is I teach it well. So looking forward to the next hired request list. Get it ready. You won't miss it if you're watching Facebook and YouTube. You won't miss your chance.